check Harbor Freight. You may be able to get oh, one. Man, I bet at a place like Harbor Freight or Northern Equipment, one of yeah, those yeah, yeah, might yeah. have a bubble balancer. It's worth a shot. Have a look. J. Uh, 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 J. C. Whitney might have one. What if What if you just made one sort of out of like a thing of water, and then like a, you got a piece of wood, and it was kind of do it. Probably yeah. You could both. probably just you know get it to the you could put some put some floats under all four corners. You could and, get the damn thing close enough. You could get it close enough. So, so I mean, unless you're going to be doing 140 miles an hour on that thing, which I yeah. don't think is going to be happening. Yeah. You know that then uh, then you could probably get it close enough. So oh we got we got we're, we're uh oh our guys are out there man they're finding a bubble balancer for you on the web man. Okay. We got uh, is that a bubble balancer? No, a, that, no no that's a spin. No, that's not a spin balancer. I don't know what either. that is, man. That's some kind of weird. You know the difference between a Cadillac Escalade and a Titleist? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Balance, run it up to about 120 and see if it shakes. Big Hubble says it's about 400 pounds. Okay. Ooh, that's a heavy wheel, man. Then, I, you know, a uh, heavy-duty bubble balance. <laughs> <That> really, <laughs> really freaking big bubble balance yeah, get, you, get you an electric lift like Little John's got in his shop and pick that baby up with it. Get in position, set it down, and off you go. Can we hear that? Can we hear that sound effect again? You pick it up with electric lift. And get then, in position. And, and then, no, set it down, and off okay, you go. Okay, okay. Well, that's what you can do. Um, you know what? I, if it's that damn heavy, brother, I got news for you. I don't think I'd screw with it. You know, 400 pounds, man. If it, The only problem with 400 pounds. Who said write it and see if it shakes? Uh, that was, uh, let's see, uh, Fat Bob says balance. Run it up to about 120, see if it shakes. Uh, Little John says need strobe balancer. You know, hey, there's oh. something I've never heard of. Oh, I That's never heard of a strobe deal. balancer. That must be a, that. Yeah, as he says, yeah, they have balancers. Put a put a. I put a rear stabilizer on it. That's an interesting. thing. Hey, speaking of interesting things, we got it. We got. You know the difference between a Cadillac Escalade and a Titleist? No, what? <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tiger Woods can drive a Titleist 300 yards. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you log on to bad Tiger Wood jokes? Dot They're not bad. What's <laughs> no, that? They're pretty good. They're pretty good. You know, you you got to, you know, I got there's a lot that could be said about Tiger Woods, but you want to some Here's here's the deal. The guy makes 3 billion dollars a year for hitting not a little Not anymore. Not anymore. But he <laughs> but he made 3 billion dollars a year for hitting a little white ball around the field. You know, you well, got, he got made a lot of money knocking the ball could, around, but he got a lot of endorsements. Well, he did. That's where you know, there's went. a billboard in downtown Denver that has uh, that has uh, Tiger Woods on it. It's for Tog Hewer watches. <laughs> I know it. And it's like, what are you made of? And it's like, I don't know yeah. what this guy's made yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. Sure, glad they didn't spend a lot of money on that, but oh, I bet oh, they did. Oh. Santa, we get we're getting a message directly from the North Pole here. Uh oh, it's coming in on the directly wire. From Santa, the North Pole. Santa Claus, this just and, in. This just and Tiger Woods. Oh boy, differ difference. The difference between Santa Claus and Tiger Woods. I told. I don't this know, guys. Here. Did you already tell us that one? Go on. Santa stops at three hoes. After three hoes, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that was earlier. I told that one. You guys get Speaking your own stuff, material, will you guys? guys? You're ripping stuff from treasure. Christ. Hey, look, let's look at another bike because hey, we've been talking about all kinds of everything else. That's all uh, right. That's why we're it's Christmas. Spare me. Big Hubble says Tiger uses a Woody. Fat Bob says not anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact, man. <laughs> nothing, will, nothing, will, nothing will take the the wind out of your sails like that chick going half Eddie. You know what I mean? Did you see these pictures? I don't know. We can show. We're, we're going to scan those and put those. On. We got right. some. We got some great pictures of uh, uh, of. There's trash. some young people in the thing. Yeah, yeah. Some young. Okay, this was from a guy named Dahl. Um, who, a guy who, named Dahl. D H A L. Oh, is his name Dahl? Right. And uh, and he sent me these pictures. Hey Warren, excuse me. Hey Warren, Two sounds minutes. like his name's Dahl. Just showing off my Evo chop, I am putting together in Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, before the two <laughs> feet of snow gets here. Okay, now the guy's got Jeez. yarbles. It, it is a 1992. When motor. did he send us that? July. The, yeah, 19. No, it's inside. That's in his house. It's in his living room. That's man. okay. <laughs> Where do you think Which my soft tail used to live? Well, I love that, man. It's a 1992 motor with float heads and a 4 and 5 eighths S and S stroke or flywheels. So 88 inches with quick revs, a 240 millimeter rear wheel, six speed tranny. You guys rock. 
We think you rock too, Dell. I do ride a VRSCDX. Oh, that must be who VRSCDX now is in the t- t- Take a close look at that fuel tank, ladies and gentlemen. Where do you see this thing? Night Rod special build that's putting 140 horsepower to the rear tire. I know it ain't old school, but I just can't help it. Also, I have a 77 XL8 1000 CC that we built for the little woman that snorts. She's scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to hammer around on that too. Cisco, man. Cisco is his name. Cisco in Minneapolis goes by many different names. And let's take a look at what he is. Cisco is building in his like living room or his spare bedroom or something. Man, there's that's definitely on the inside of the house. This is the the trick with this I is think the that used to be metal. his old lady's sewing room. Yeah, well, it ain't anymore, man. But look at the coffee table he's got the bike on. The bike's sitting on a coffee table, you man. I love it. Man. I love that, man. That's some that's some classic. Uh, Cisco, Cisco, answer is is he in the chat room? I is think he, he is. I think he's in Cisco. There, if you're out there, answer is a question. Have you strung Christmas lights on this thing? On the on the well, well yeah, my soft tail lived in my living room over in, in North Southeast Denver. I had Christmas lights and Christmas balls hanging on the soft tail, oh, cool. and that was my Christmas tree. And there was a young lady that, well, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Do, we, yeah, do, we, do, we, do you know how much fun that is? I know, I know. I do, believe me, I do. Oh, I do. You, oh, I know. Okay, I know. Anyway, like Cisco, did you did you string lights? We don't have to tell me about any young Bob's, ladies, but did you string lights on it? Fat Bob says she nags me to put mine outside. Let's go to the next shot of this. I want you guys to take a look at the sheet metal this guy's building. Yeah, he is. Uh, he's riding a V rod right now. But look at this ass kicking bike he's What's putting with together. The gold lifter block. We, we got, I don't know what the gold. I don't understand the gold lifter blocks. It seems like you know he may just have those taped off. Because look at the top of the heads. There's a bunch of gold stuff up there. Mm. Or maybe it's brass accents in it. He could be doing a brass accent mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, next. Be, no, no, wait a minute. Yeah, go to the next photo. This is the next. Th- go ahead. Look at this tank. Now, this is a custom thing that, that uh, our buddy Cisco in Minneapolis put together. This is some radical sheet metal. That really here, is. Man. That looks like something medieval. It really does. It, and, you know, normally some of those tanks that wrap around the handlebars and stuff like that, I don't really like. But this one is a lot of class, man. Now, Cisco, tell me, tell me you're going to put real handlebars on this thing and not them things that, that are laying clear the hell down by uh, the... No, look at what look at kind of seat he's got in there. Well, man. You're going to have to sit up yeah. on that. You're going to have to be... In fact, you tell us you're going to put real handlebars on there. And tell us you're going to trade that hey, girder for a nice-looking springer. No, leave the girder. Leave Bag the girder. The Leave the girder. Go Put the, the 18 inch ape hangers on there, man. Get those arms up in the air, wrapped right underneath that tank, man. It'd be cool. You don't like girders. On a Springer, it would be cool. Well, on a Springer, it would be cool. I, you know, i got a Springer knocking around. i got to put on I something. I know you do. i got to put it on something. It's is like, it extended? Is it over? Is it it's, over? it's four over, I think. It would fit beautiful on a stock soft tail, would not it? It would, it would kick it up just right, wouldn't it? And it's black. That's right, it's not chrome. Uh uh-uh, uh, it's blacked out. I was out. thinking of it for use on possibly on a 750 Honda Chopper. A Honda Chopper. Hey, yeah, that, well, well, let, let's put the word out there. You know, uh, crazy ass can. tank, awesome, man. Is yeah, what it is. That yeah. is a, that's a yeah. piece of work. And remember, folks, he didn't buy that. Yeah, this is hand built stuff, man. He made this. He made this, and that, and you know, once again, we we keep going back to the we keep going back to the roots here at Kickstart TV. You know, the stuff that we like. You know, it's cool to buy a bunch of parts and bolt them together because that's what I do. But it's really cooler if you if you really make them, make make them, them. build the thing yourself. Do right. as much as you can that you're comfortable with, and push those boundaries, man. And get help with that that you're yeah, not comfortable true. with that's stuff true. that you want to learn. This whole thing, you guys, everybody that's out there doesn't know this whole thing's a journey, and it's about learning this stuff. You're right. Okay, and getting somebody to help you if you don't know. You think I did all the stuff for Captain America myself? No, Not I even close, brother. I, I'm telling you, seat pan. Okay, I'm I cut it out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't weld it together. Yeah. No. Okay, I didn't weld that together, little John. Okay. Right. Sissy bar for Captain America. Yeah. Do you think I bought that? Yeah. Hell no, I didn't buy that. V Twin Manufacturer sells them now. You yeah. can buy it, but little John. Bent that baby up. We got the we got the tip back in it, and the original bend in it. Yep. And then a young man by the name of Rich Valdez helped me help me finish welding that's got we've got forty man hours in that in that sissy bar. So you know, all of this stuff and it was stuff I didn't know how to do. And I went to the right people. I said, Little John, I got this piece of five inch cold rolled, it's about sixteen feet long. I want to make a sissy bar. And he said, Oh good God. <laughs> but the next words out of his mouth was I got the torch right over here. Bring it over.